Welcome to HPS and today we are doing an install video for the HPS silencer for the Skidoo E-Tech motor. This install video will work for the E-Tech motor on the XP chassis, the XM chassis, and also the Skidoo 600 E-Tech motor. But before we can install this beautiful muffler, we first need to remove the stop one. To remove the stock muffler and install the HPS, all you will need is a 17 millimeter wrench and a spring tool. The spring tool you will want to use is one that you can push with and pull with. To remove the stock muffler, first you want to remove the temperature probe off of the top of the muffler. Just put it aside so it's not in your way. Next, you will want to remove the springs with the spring tool. The springs that connect your muffler to the pipe, you'll want to push them off. The springs that are on the front of the muffler and the back of the muffler, it's best you pull them off. And you take the muffler and you just yank it out. Before you install the HPS silencer, there is a pad here on the bridge of the chassis that you will need to move back one slot. And then make sure that you have all of your springs. There should be four total. You will need to use them all. Something that you will want to do is take your heat probe and you will want to put some anti-seize on it. There's a couple of different brands. We use this. All you do is you take the anti-seize and you just dab a little bit on the threads and it allows the threads to stay tight and prevents them from galding. Before you spring your HPS muffler into the sled, you'll want to take the heat probe and put it in the muffler. Make sure that you get it tight enough that it won't vibrate out, but not too tight that you break the probe. And as you ride, you will occasionally want to check on it and possibly retighten it, just to double check that it's not coming out. If the probe comes out or gets loose as you are riding, it won't sense the correct temperature and it will retard the timing on your sled. The best way to mount uh, the HPS silencer into the sled is to put it in the belly pan first and then bring the muffler and the pipe together. It may need a little pop, but all you do is you just pop it once and it slides right in. Now just take your springs and spring your muffler to your sled. There are a couple ways to spring the back side of your muffler to your sled. Um, one way is to take the existing spring hook on your toe stop 
and attach it by pulling two springs together and stretch, stretching it to this spring hook here. Or what you can do is you can take this spring hook on your toe stop, drill it out, and mount it on this screw on the chain case. What that will do is it will prevent you from having to use both springs. Uh, either way works. Uh, for the video, we're just going to spring the two springs together. Just like this. And that is how you install an HPS silencer on the E-Tech motors. This particular muffler was very unique to design. It still has the dual chamber double walls like the other mufflers we build. We, but it is a oval. We felt that that was necessary for the E-Tech motor to keep the HPS signature sound but keep it within sound regulations. It also allows us to build a lot of performance in your motor. It kicks on really hard in the mid-range and builds at least three and a half horsepower on the top end with saving 12 and a half pounds from your stock muffler. It's a really, uh, it's been really thought out. It's been very well designed. Remember to check us out at hpsusa.net and like us on Facebook at High Performance Sports Inc.